If you read Genesis 5 now, it seems like that is what it means because the people in Genesis 5 were almost 1000 years old. Adam was 930, Jared 962, and Methuselah 969. Yes, but now God says that people will only get 120 years. Just read a little bit further. Mm. Oh, but now I was 950. Yes. But maybe it didn't count for Noah, because he was already alive. His son Sam was 600, and there were others too. Don't you think if that is what God meant, that no one would get older than 120 years after that? Okay, but what does it mean then? You should read the whole story. There were a lot of people on earth. The sons of God took human wives. There were giants. Then we read about the 120 years. After that, how evil and bad people became, and that God decided to take them all away from earth. Okay, so... The 120 years is the time he gave everyone, before he was going to take them all away from earth. But how do you know that? Number one, people still got older than 120 years afterwards. Number two, Moses said in Psalms 90 verse 10, that the average age for a human is 70 to 80 years old. Number three, if you read carefully, you will notice he said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever. God is not speaking about one person, but about the entire human race. Because if he spoke about one person, then everyone who lived before that should still have been alive at that point. And if you count all of the ages together, when their children were born, you will see how much time passed since Adam was created. Adam grew 930 years old, but was 130 when Seth was born. He looked like his dad, but became the dad of Enosh when he was 105. When Enosh was 90, he had a son named Kenan. But when he was 70, he had a son named Mahalalel. When he was 65, he had a son named Jared. When he was 162, he had a son named Enosh. He was 65 when his son Methuselah was born. He had a son named Lamech when he was 186. When he was 182, he had a son named Noah. So 130 plus 105 plus 90 plus 70 plus 65 plus 162 plus 65 plus 187 plus 182. That gives you 1056 without Noah. And that is already more than Adam's 930. But why did God give them 120 years? Why didn't he get rid of all the bad people straight away? Because he wanted to give them a chance to turn away from the things they were doing and rather come to him. But that is not in there. No, but in 
2 Peter 2 verse 5, we read that Noah was a preacher of righteousness, meaning that God used Noah to show them that they were doing the wrong things. But they didn't want to listen. No, and Noah was 600 when the flood happened. So that was 1656 years after Adam was created. And God gave the 120 years, 120 years before the flood, they were still busy with their daily activities and didn't expect anything. When the flood came, we read that in Luke 17 verse 26 to 27 and in Matthew 24 verse 38, where Luke and Matthew warn people that when Jesus comes to get his children, it will also be as sudden and unexpected as the flood. So we have to make sure we are ready. Exactly. And if you are not, you have to do it now. What did you say about sons of God and giants? 